Here's what's new in Git Kraken version 7.7. Users on Git Kraken Pro and enterprise cloud accounts can now create and manage teams within their organization. Navigate to Preferences and you'll notice your organization name here on the left, where you can view the list of organization members, where an admin can invite users to the organization, and assign roles to organization members. Admins may then click the Add button to create teams in the organization, and then add members to the team. Existing teams can be renamed, updated, or deleted. Admins can easily invite contributors to the current repository to the organization from the suggested members list. This will help ensure you don't miss any active contributors. Once you have been added to a team, the Teams pane in the left panel will populate with a drop-down list of all the teams you belong to. Selecting a team will display a list of all team members in that team, and you will be able to see the branches and files each team member is working on. Get Kraken will also warn you of potential merge conflicts with teammates, saving your team the headache of untangling conflicts. And if you have the author column enabled for the graph, you may now filter the graph by team or by individual contributors. This will highlight the commits made by any contributors matching your filter, which should make the graph easier to scan for work by your team. Next, the pull request pane in the left panel has been updated and it will now organize pull requests using filters. By default, Git Kraken will filter your pull requests by My Pull Requests and All Pull Requests, and depending on your hosting provider, assigned to me and awaiting my review. You are welcome to edit these filters by clicking the ellipsis, where you can rename the filter or update the filter parameters. You can also create custom filters by clicking this filter icon and referencing the filter syntax guide. All filtered pull requests can now be easily searched, and there are now new status icons that will indicate CI CD status and the pull request status, depending on your hosting service. All right, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all the latest releases, and we'll see you in the next release.